When you add your logos into your Canva brand kit, you're going to need a variety of logo variations, including a version that works on a light colored background and one that works on a darker background. So for example, here's my primary logo, and then here's a variation that's meant for darker backgrounds. But if you don't have a reverse logo and you can't get one from your original logo designer, here's a little trick to create a white version of your logo in less than a minute. We're going to do it using the Duotone app in Canva. I've already uploaded an example logo and you can see that it has a transparent background and the text of the logo is olive green. So if I add that logo to a design with a dark background, you can barely see it, and it's clear that this is not going to work because there's next to no contrast. However, if the logo was all white, you'd have great contrast. So let's do that now. I'll select the logo on my design page. I'll click on Edit Photo, and then I'll scroll down to the Effects area and I'll choose Duotone. Then I'll choose Custom, and I'll change both the highlights and the shadows to be white. And voila, now I very quickly have a white version of my logo. If I wanted to save this for future use, I would simply copy and paste this white logo to a page on its own, and then download that individual design page as either a ping file or an SVG, ensuring that I save it with a transparent background. And don't forget that the ability to download an image with a transparent background is a Canva Pro feature, not available on the free subscription. And then at that point, I could upload the white version of the logo into my brand kit for future use. If you haven't yet upgraded to Canva Pro, I encourage you to give it a try. And you can do a 45-day free Canva Pro trial by going to brendacadman.com forward slash Canva. Stay tuned for more Canva tips and tutorials, and make sure to join us in the How to Use Canva community by going to howtousecanva.com.